Paul, welcome to Shrewsbury Town. How pleased are you to, to get it over the line? Yeah, delighted. Um, a lot of speculation uh, around myself and, and this football club. So, um, you know, now I'm here, really looking forward to meeting the players and cracking on with a lot of hard work. What was it that you attracted you to the club? We obviously played in, in the uh, FA Cup last season and coming here, a lovely ground. Um, it's League One football. Yes, the position in the league isn't what anyone connected with Shrewsbury Town wants, uh, but the aim is to come in and, and improve on that. Obviously, like you say, the position isn't where we want it to be, but you do feel that there's potential here to, to move forward? I certainly hope so. You know, we'll now um, learn a lot more about the football club. I think a lot of things are, are in place. The important part is what happens on a, on a Saturday afternoon or midweek out on that pitch uh, and winning points and winning games. Uh, so a lot of that is with the players, but it's you know everything to do with the football club that's uh, attracted me here. Initially, your thoughts on coming today, what, what you've seen so far, what do you think of the football club? Very nice, you know, a new ground, as I said, and very friendly staff being made very welcome. Uh, I'm looking forward to you know building relationships. That's a, a big part of going anywhere. Um, you know, you want people to buy into your beliefs. Um, you know, I want to work with good people, honest people. Very big on that, uh, and hopefully, I'll I'll get to see that that's what's here already. Have you had a chance to to look at what's already in the building, player wise, and and decide what you you're going to do moving forward? Um, only a small look, in in honesty, uh, because of obviously the the time frames. But looked at some of the game from from the weekend. I had a look over the squad. Um, I've had a chat with with Danny Coyne um, and Chris about the the players, but you know, not going to sort of dig too much with them. I think that'd be a little unfair. And there's no doubt when a new manager comes in, I'm not going to say it's a guaranteed upturn in terms of results, but I think some people will perhaps show um, you know better form, and some might go the other way. Uh, but I don't want to make any sort of, or too many prejudgments on on those players and give them the opportunity to impress what are your aims and aspirations moving forward i think first and foremost it has to be to to stay in in the league it's a precarious position we're in but there's certainly been teams in in worse positions and have managed to retain the status so that's i don't know whether you call that a short term goal or not um but that has got to be the main aim but moving forward, you know, I want to see how far we can take this football club. It's well, the first day, extremely early. Um, but I look at a lot of what's here, you know, and I'm and I'm very impressed. Do you feel like this is a club that could move forward? There's a new training ground on the way. The stadium's fantastic. Long term, do you think you know you could move this club to a higher place? I certainly hope so. And as I said, that's a big part of the attraction. Um, you know, yeah, the structure off the pitch is, is very important. Uh, ultimately, it's about building a squad that, that's capable and competent. Are these players uh, that I'm inheriting good enough? Time will tell. Um, but we'll certainly try and get everything out of them and hopefully they, they prove that they are um, because it goes hand in hand. As I said, it's great to have all this infrastructure, but it, a lot of it does come down to recruitment. And obviously that's something... Um, that I can't do too much about uh, in the short term. But moving forward, I'm sure there will be changes. But the players that are here have got first opportunity to uh, you know, see how many of those changes we do have to make. Last season, we obviously played you in the FA Cup. We saw a little bit about what your sides are about. What do you hope to sort of show the f on the playing front? I've got to organise the players that I've got at my disposal in, in the best way possible. Um, in an ideal world, I know I want to play. Uh, I like to play with a lot of energy, you know, forward thinking, um, to try and score lots of goals. Uh, and that's, you know, most managers would, would sit here and say that. But a lot of it is underpinned from an absolute basic of hard work. And I think some people's idea of hard work is different than others. Um, and that's certainly one of the first messages that we'll be getting out to the players. Uh, but also got to, you know, try and instil a bit of confidence in them. There's no doubt when you're on a run like they, they have been, a lot of uncertainty around that that has an effect on, on players. And you know now they know that they've got a new manager, or will do very shortly. And 
you know, like I said, just trying to build that bit of confidence, but getting the messages across of how we want to approach things. And again, my absolute ideal of how I would like to play might have to take a back seat for a little while, uh, depending on exactly what personnel we've got. And just looking back quickly on your time at Grimsby, you obviously got promotion to League Two. You've left that club in a in a far better place than when you when you moved there. Yeah, I'd like to think so. I, I think it's been uh, mutually beneficial, and you know I had some fantastic times there. A lot of near misses and and quite a bit of heartache. Um, but in general, it, they were still successful seasons. We just couldn't quite get over the line up until last season. Like I said, some fantastic memories uh, at the football club and. It's um, you know some good people there. I had a, a really good squad, uh, some good players uh, over my time there. A lot of them, um, you know, stay in touch with, and you know I'll I'll just have fond memories, and I hope that they go on and have a, you know a good season. They're in a, a decent position, as you say, and uh, you know it's we're both on to uh, a new part of the club's history. And just finally, for Shrewsbury Town fans, what's what's your message to them? I think to get behind the players, um, because again, while I, I'm sure there's a lot of frustration around at the minute, um, we've all got to pull together. And that, again, will be another message to the players. Um, no one has their own agenda down there. We've got to come together as a group. Uh, be interesting to see what the team spirit's like at this moment in time. As I said about confidence and people being maybe a bit down on themselves. We've got to try and pick that up. That's my job. But the fans can play their part, certainly, in terms of you know what's going out on social media, which again I'll try and uh, have my say on how much the players are are involved in that. Um, but also certainly when they're watching the games, they just get behind them because I'll be demanding of them. And if they give everything to the cause, then I think you know the fans will, will accept that. It's when maybe they think that they they down tools or aren't quite giving the their all. Uh, for the football club that it becomes an issue so it's a new start it's a fresh start for everybody um, i'm hoping that we can have some success you know sooner rather than later